Hello, uh, my name is Danny Gregory, and um, I have no talent. This is my friend Tim, and Tim, Tim doesn't have any talent either. We were born this way, and there's not much that we can do about it. So, for so long we've been hearing about how important talent is, and how you can't really do anything creative unless you have a lot of talent. But what do you do if you weren't blessed with it? I and mean, that was a problem that I faced for a long time. You know, I knew people who had talent. There were these people in high school who were amazing, who could draw anything. You know, there were people who I worked with who just had natural taste and the ability to just kind of, I don't know, make anything and make it look beautiful. But, you know, I would kind of stumble along and and maybe you're the same way, you know, maybe you're part of the sketchbook school community, but you're kind of hanging out in the in the wings, you know, you're saying to yourself, oh, it's fine for these people because they were born with talent. It's easy for them, but for me, you know, I'm out of luck. And so as a result, you feel like you can't really do some of the things that you'd love to do, like be able to to draw and to paint and to make beautiful things because you can't get over that one hump, that one step, that first initial thing that's going to take you to the place that you want to get. And what do you do about that? What do you do? Because, you know, it just doesn't seem like when you sit down and you pick up a pen or a pencil and you, you try to draw something, it just looks awful. You know, you try and draw somebody's face and they look like, you know, they have a potato for a nose or their eyes are facing different ways or it just doesn't look like them and you're embarrassed to show them the drawing and you say, they're going to think that I'm just pretending to be an artist. You know, or maybe you just go to draw something simple and you get really confused by all the things that you see out there and you say to yourself, um, you know, what am I going to do? You know, what am I going to do when I can't, you know, present myself? I can't solve this problem. I can't know, I don't know how to begin to do this. And, you know, for me, I spend a lot of time stumbling around with this. I spend a lot of time reading books about it because you go to a book and you think, you know, there are books in bookstores. I've written books myself that are like this, that, you know, say they'll teach you the steps, but, but it can still be difficult. You want to be able to take it step by step and you want to have somebody there to help you. And you want to have, um, you know, a sense of accomplishment too, right? How do you make those, how do you begin if, in, as if right away you feel like you failed, you know? And so what I tried to do after I started to draw and I realized that it was possible to do without talent, but it took a fair amount of time because I was kind of thrashing around in the dark, you know? So I said to myself, I want to share what I've learned. I want to take these basic things, the basic building blocks of drawing, and I want to teach somebody how to do this, you know, and I don't think it has to be enormously difficult. I think it can be like other skills that we learn in life, you know, like from when we first learn how to tie our shoes, you know, and our mom or our dad takes us step by step through it until we can do it, or when we first learn, you know, to write our names, and when we first learn to, you know, to drive a car. You know, all these basic life skills that we have, but, but when it comes to drawing, because we started doing it when we were five or six years old, and we kind of did it naturally, but then we gave it up. But when we did it naturally, we picked up a crayon. Nobody taught us how to do that. We just kind of instinctively knew how to do it. But now we're grown-ups. And when we try to draw, it looks like we did, it did when we were five or six years old. And, and somebody will say, can you, can you draw that for me? And you say, I, I can't even draw a, a, a stick figure. I can't even draw a straight line. I have no talent. I can't do anything. So, you know, I understand that because I've been there. I've felt that way about it a lot of times. And I've met a lot of people who have too. So in taking these basic steps and saying, you know what, what if I could just teach you the stuff that I've learned that took me to a place of comfort where I felt like this is possible. 
It's not impossible. There are things I can do. There, there are things I can accomplish. And that those things can build one upon the other so that I get more accomplished. And suddenly, instead of looking around for tricks, instead of hoping that somebody will wave a magic wand at me, I have basic skills that I can use to get to the creative goals that I want to get to. And so that was the idea behind this course that I put together about six months ago called How to Draw Without Talent. Because I realized like, you, I could probably teach you these basic things. And the fact that you don't have talent might actually be okay. It might even be help because you, know, you wouldn't have some gigantic talent getting in the way. You would just be able to follow along with me and we could do these things step by step. Now I know that there's a lot of people who are in the sketchbook school community who maybe have never taken a class with us. You know, and part of the reason is that when they look and they see people posting stuff in the group, they go, oh, that's really great. You know, obviously you have to have that level of ability or that level of talent to even you know, join this. And the idea of this class, course, how to draw that talent is here, let's get to that place. Let's get to that place where you feel competent enough so that you can get to easily in with the crowd. You can merge in with everybody else and you can do things that may seem more advanced to you right now, that may seem beyond your ability. We'll go through these steps simply together and you will learn that it's not that hard. You will learn that there's really no special thing that you've been denied that you need access to in order to do it. It's just kind of learning a few really basic principles that when you do, you'll, you'll probably never forget them. Now, it's also possible that you have plunged into sketchbook school classes. You got really excited by it. You jumped in, but you still felt a little bit like, ah, you know, you're kind of like a person who moved to a new country and you never learned the grammar. You can speak, you can get along with people, but every so often you say, oh, I don't really know how to do this. Well, this class is for you too, to basically say, you know, let's go, let's, let's pull it apart, clean all the bits and put them back together and make sure that, you know, you have confidence in what you're doing, that you understand the basics. And I think, I think that this class you could probably do in a weekend, maybe longer. If you want, you know, you could go back to it, you could polish it, but you could do it that quickly. You know, you could, you could have a series of aha moments that will catapult you to a place of confidence and, um, you know, of, of getting on your way. And this is a good week. I mean, there's, a, there's, you may have seen this class around. We've talked about it before. You may have heard of people taking it. You've said to yourself, eh, I'll get around to it one day, whatever. It's on sale this week. It's on sale. Look, it was inexpensive to begin with, but it's even less expensive now. You have even less of a reason to not embrace it, to not jump in on it, to not try it out. The videos are kind of ridiculous, some of them. A lot of them are fairly basic. Um, I try to make them fun. I try to make them sort of interesting. Our friend Tim, who was with me a minute ago, he participates in one of the videos and I teach him how to draw. Now Tim, his brain, his brain is about the size of maybe, maybe a pigeon's egg. And, um, you know, if he can learn to do it, he doesn't even actually have fingers. Anyway, I don't want to single Tim out, but I do want to say that if I can show Tim how to draw his brother, Joe, well, that's just part of how to draw that talent and how it works, okay? So we have fun, we do stuff. You can share it online in the class if you want to or not. You know, it's kind of like taking driving lessons. You know, when you took driving lessons, you may not have wanted to drive your dad to the mall in the middle of the lesson. I understand that. But eventually, you get to the point where you feel confident enough to do it. And then you'll strut out onto the main stage and you'll share with the rest of us what you're doing. It doesn't really matter. This is more about you. This is about you spending some time to just get to that place. Because it's possible, you know, it's like when I was 10 years old, I sort of learned to swim, but I didn't really learn properly because nobody actually taught me. I kind of found my way how to do the dog paddle and then sort of vaguely the breaststroke. And for most of my life, I've been kind of like that when it came to swimming, just sort of inept. You know, I'm not 
I'm not afraid of water. I've just never really learned how to swim properly. And then about six months ago, I took swimming lessons, and now I can swim like a, like a normal human being. Drawing can be like that, where you can kind of fake it, and you can kind of push your way through it. You can sort of, you know, tell yourself you maybe you could do it, or tell yourself you'll never be able to do it. All these things we tell ourselves. I try to address some of them as well, to say, you know what, let's just get on with it. Let's try some stuff. Do it on, on like Xerox paper so you can throw it out. You don't need to have a formal sketchbook. You do it with a pen. It's basic. It's simple. And it really won't take that much time. You can do, there are, I think, 26 lessons, 26 little videos. Watch one a day if you want. Watch, binge on them. Watch them multiple times. It won't take a lot of your time, I promise you. And apparently now it won't take you a lot of your money either. So I think it's something like $23.30 or something like that. It's a 20% off sale. My math's not that great. But anyway, today's the day to sign up for it. You know, maybe, maybe this weekend is the weekend to start. Maybe it's not. But at least sign up for it. Take advantage of the sale. And if you've been hanging around pretending that you had an excuse for not joining the rest of the, of the party, your excuse is over. It's time to get on with it. Talent won't work. Talentlessness won't work. Um, I've been there, and so have many of your friends in the Sketchbook School community. And, and here's another thing. Maybe you have joined Sketchbook School. Maybe you've been enjoying it. But wouldn't it be more fun to be able to do it with someone else? Someone like your spouse, your neighbor, your friend. People who, again, have no talent. Buy it for them. Sign up with them. Do it with them. Show them how smart you are and, uh, you know, have fun drawing because drawing is fun. That's what it's meant to be. It's not meant to make you feel bad. It's not meant to make you feel inferior. And it's not make to, meant, you, meant to make you feel like you were born missing some vital thing. It's just a fun way of engaging with the world, of making stuff, of expressing yourself, of seeing more clearly, etc., etc., etc. All right. I've talked enough. And um, I'll stop now, but I'll, let me just glance over and see if anybody has asked me any questions um, that I can answer here. Um, no, I don't see any questions. I see some people. Um, anyway, so um, somebody here mentions that they're listening to it during a road trip, which is interesting. I'm not sure if they're looking at the screen while doing it. Joanne Johnson, I hope that you are uh, keeping your eyes on the road. But if you were just listening to my mellifluous tones as you drive, and then you will stop periodically to, uh, to try yourself, try out one of those exercises, great. It's meant to be fun. It's meant to be entertaining. Like everything at Sketchbook School, you know, you're not going to get graded, and, uh, you know, we're just here to enjoy ourselves. So, um, good. Well, I'm going to wrap it up, unless anybody wants to give me a question or two, such as how to draw a straight line. I cover that in the class. If you don't know how to draw a straight line, I will explain it to you. I will demonstrate, and soon you will be drawing lines that um, you know you could build a building on, <clears throat> that you could perform surgery on. All right, thanks very much. Um, I will uh, see you in class. I hope. I also hope I will see you tomorrow, twenty-five and a half hours from now when we will be meet, having another meeting of the Sketchbook Club, which is going to be very fun this week. And I have uh, three different people who I will uh, talk to. Margot, if you'd like, I will call you tomorrow morning to make sure that you do remember to sign up. Please do feel free to go to bed. Um, you know, these Dutch people, I don't know how they get anywhere because they go to bed so early. Kosha has the same problem. I'm up about, I'm doing stuff. She's already gone to bed. She gets up very early, though, so maybe that makes up for it. Okay, good. Well, Rabia, thank you. Um, thank you very much for, uh, for drawing every day. And uh, have, have uh, fun drawing again tomorrow. I'm actually going to go off and draw. I'm very into drawing on my iPad these days. I'll tell you guys about it one day. It's, it's, um, it's, it seems almost like you might have to have talent to do it, but I'm blundering along with it. And uh, the funny thing is, this is the pencil, and it's really difficult to sharpen. I tried it a couple times, and it just doesn't work very well afterwards. So if anybody has any tips on that, anyway. All right. Thanks, guys. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye.